Today, I'm sitting on top of all these clothes. I'm gonna show you what I do to find outfit inspo when I have a closet full of clothes, but I feel like I have nothing to wear. This is where I'm actually sitting. Welcome to my bed. I feel like it is a pretty universal experience to have a full closet. You've either worn the same outfit five times in the last week or literally nothing that you put on looks good, feels good. You just, it's not good. So today I have about 10 outfits that I found off Pinterest that I specifically looked for. Items that I know I have in my closet or at least something similar. It doesn't have to be the same color or the exact same material necessarily. What I'm looking for is the same shape, the same style, the same fit. Sometimes maybe the same colors, but like I said, that's not really the most important. It's just that you have the staple pieces that make up these outfits. Let's get into it. Okay, first outfit. She has on a relatively baggy sweater, a button-up underneath. She also has some chains and necklaces layered as well as dark wash baggy jeans and some type of style of sambas. I think I'm gonna use this sweater. These dark wash baggy jeans, my chain, and a couple necklaces that I'm gonna layer. A white button up underneath. Okay. It's risking being a little too formal in a way, but I think what keeps it from feeling very businessy is like a lot of the jewelry. Like she has a chain. I'm actually using like a belt that I have that I wouldn't have worn in this way. I feel like my pieces match pretty well and I wouldn't have put it together on my own. So I give it a thumbs up. Next outfit, she has on like a baggy oversized men's button up shirt. Hers is like blue and brown, mine's tan and brown. However, even though it's not the same color, I think what's important is the stripes. She also has on some baggy brown trouser pants. I have these brown trouser and she just has on some sneakers. I'm gonna use those same necklaces from before to layer. And a crossbody bag, I have this one. This one is actually a little surprising. I didn't think I would like it so much. I think the one thing I don't like about it is I feel like this shirt has to sit in a very specific way in order for the look to give what it needs to give. And so it's like almost a lot of adjusting when you're wearing it because I feel like when you're walking, you could easily just kind of like fall down. But it's like if you keep it separated and I feel like the bag kind of helps do that as well. She has like a baggier trouser than I do. Mine are like pretty straight leg. I really like this. I think I might actually end up wearing something like this. It's really cute. I almost wish to too, though that this is a little bit shorter if i'm feeling crazy i could cut it and hem it mm. next outfit this one i'm actually the most excited to try this one it could either go really good or really bad so hear me out she's wearing a baggy jacket with some boxer shorts now i know the boxer short trend is like huge right now personally i never wear mine out in public i did one time I went to a restaurant and I thought they were really cute but then all of a sudden there were these two guys behind me in the line when I was waiting for my food. I suddenly got super self-conscious about the fact that I was wearing boxer shorts because it is kind of an interesting trend. Like you're just wearing underwear. If you know, you know. Like if I saw someone with boxer shorts, I'd be like, oh, she's cute. She's just like wearing the trend. But other people seeing someone wearing boxer shorts might think it was a little weird. And I just got the vibe that the two guys behind me were making fun of me for my boxer shorts. They probably weren't. But I got so self-conscious and I was like, oh my god, I'm literally just wearing men's underwear as pants. I look ridiculous. Mm. After that, I got a little bit shy with the boxer short things. However, I'm gonna try this one. Like in the picture, it looks so cute on her and I know that I have all these pieces, so I just wanna try. I don't have a big jean jacket. I have this oversized brown leather jacket, which I think will do the job. I have these small plaid blue green-ish boxer shorts she has on like a little mini striped scarf i have this brown thin scarf and then she has on some glasses which i have a really similar pair to a little mini bag i'm using this green one and she has on some high socks and some boots this one i feel like i did really well yeah i think it's really cute even though my boots aren't exactly the same shape and style as hers i think they still work i mean it's basically the same outfit but i just used everything that i had so that was fun in terms of practicality i don't know if i would wear this outside of the house but it was fun to match because this is something i would have never thought that i had in my closet but i actually have every single piece this is not a way i would ever put any of these pieces together i mean maybe the top like this the hat this half up as well as the boots it's just just the boxer shorts really that I'm like yeah no it's way too freaking cold to be wearing underwear but for shits and giggles Pinterest purposes 10 out of 10 
Next outfit, this one is really simple. A lot of times in the fall, I put on a crew neck and I put on jeans and then I'm bored. I'm realizing this year it's because I forget to layer. This is a simple layering outfit. She has on the, I don't know if it's blue or I think hers might be black. I have a navy blue crew neck, an oversized t-shirt underneath. I have this white one. Again, I'm gonna wear the dark wash jeans that I showed you earlier. She also has on some thin little glasses. I'm gonna wear these. This one eats, it's super simple. It still looks very put together. So simple to put on. Like literally what, four ingredients? I don't know why I call it ingredients, but that's just like how it feels. The only thing I'm missing is she has on these like slides, which are cute, not really practical for a cold day. So I just put on Sambas. Her jeans are cuffed at the bottom. I tried to fold mine a little bit. These jeans that I have though, they just like don't stay. I put on her thin glasses, layered shirt. Everything is oversized, but in a fitted way. And it just looks really clean. Next outfit. This one's fun, although this one could go the most wrong. She has on an oversized cardigan with buttons. It's like a deep v-neck. I have this cream colored one. I don't really have a lot of graphic t-shirts like hers. I think hers is like a stussy one that she's wearing underneath. I have this funny green one. Then she also has on some oversized light wash jeans. I'm gonna use these. I like this one a lot. I put on the headphones because I felt like it was kind of an important accessory, but now I can't really hear, so I'm just going to take them off. You get the point, right? I like it because this is normally a PJ shirt for me, but under this, it like creates a kind of curious element. It's like, what is on her shirt? Like, is that one of the dwarves? What's going on? I just think it's hilarious. I think the Uggs are really cute. The fit of the baggy jeans with the baggy cardigan is really nice. I would definitely wear this again on like a very chill day. Even if I didn't follow the same colors as her, I think what I liked the most was the fit of the outfit, and I think I did that. Thumbs up for that one. Next, this picture is the whole reason I bought a trench coat for this fall. She just looks powerful. The wide shoulders, the way she's just like leaning, little cheetah print heels. I wish I had something that matched that, but it's okay. She has on like a red zip-up leather jacket underneath. I have this burgundy zip-up. I have trenchy. She has on some low-rise skinny jeans. I don't think I have mine with me, but I do have some lower-rise medium wash jeans like she has. And I'm gonna put some pointy boots. This one I knew was gonna be good. Just as powerful as I expected it to be. Let me see if I can recreate her pose a little bit. She's like leaning. Wait, I feel like I look awkward. <laughs> pointy little boots. My jeans are like the perfect length for these shoes too. This is good. Definitely thumbs up. I'm very mature, like this screams, I have business, I have somewhere to be, get me a coffee. <laughs> That's how I feel. So, I like it. <laughs> Next, this is another trench outfit. She has on trench coat, hoodie, headphones, light wash jeans, some type of Adidas. So I have two options. I could do a black hoodie, but I kind of want to try this Atlanta baseball jacket underneath. I bought the trench coat and now I need to have lots of ways to style it. This one I like a lot. I think even though it doesn't have the hood, still desired effect is achieved with like the little bit of a graphic hoodie type situation, the trench coat. She has the headphones around her neck. Can't tell exactly what bag, but it's like a black hobo kind of messenger bag. So I put on my leather tote bag. I think it's really cute. I would definitely wear this again. Simple, but it looks stylish and it's comfy. Comfy but stylish. Like it's literally just a hoodie and a trench coat and it looks really good. I like this a lot. I like too how like the sleeves kind of come out a little bit at the bottom. Like it just looks really put together. Next outfit, we have the button up. Hers is blue. I still have just this white one. She has a sweater tied over her shoulders, but I think what's important about it is the print. I have this printed sweater, which you've probably seen me show a gazillion times. Baggy light wash jeans, gonna use these again. This one's a style that I see a lot, but I never wear, but I'm gonna try and make it work with what I have. Mm, this one, I don't know. Something is just off. I like how it looks, kind of. Would I ever wear this though? No. But I like the way it looks on her, but I don't, I'm not feeling it. I don't know if I'm feeling the huge white. It almost feels like a pharmacist coat or something. I don't know, but I think it needs to be another size up. Maybe. I don't feel good in it, so it's a, a no from me. Next one, we have another button down. Reuse once again, the tan striped one. I have this skirt that I wore a lot this summer, but I wanna try and make it work with my fall stuff. Mini bag, I'm gonna use, again, this green one. I feel like these colors kind of complement each other well. And then she has on some loafers and high socks. 
This one took me by surprise, truly. Like I said, I don't really love the whole skirt thing all the time, but for some reason, this is really doing it for me. She has loafers, but I don't have loafers. I just have these. They're kind of a cross between a combat boot. The way this baggy button-up is layered, it's not pleated, but it's almost pleated. You know, it has those kind of ruffles. I think it looks really cute. Like, I would never, ever put these together. Wow, maybe my opinion on skirts has changed. Hers is definitely longer than mine. Sometimes that's where I get tripped up a little bit. I think the length of the skirt is really important. And I thought that with this outfit, this skirt wouldn't go, but I think it's going a little bit. I might wear this this week. This last outfit is also with the skirt. I wanted to try a couple different ways. So again, I'm gonna use the green skirt. She has like a relaxed, still fitting black t-shirt. Almost have an identical one. She has on a black bag on the side and some boots. This one's cute. I think it's a fun way to elevate a simple piece like a t-shirt. I do still kind of like hers a little bit better. I love her skirt. It's so unique. I love the bow detail. Although it'd be cute if I could like find something to tie a bow around my waist, but I'm not going to do all that right now. This one is cute. I'm not really dying for it or dying to rewear it. Nonetheless, it is a new option. So I'll give her a thumbs up. So. That was 10 outfits I just created that I never wore before using stuff I already have. I hope I gave you some inspo if you feel like you have nothing to wear. You do. You just have to get creative a little bit. I feel like I just went shopping, but I didn't. So give it a try. And I'll see you next time. Bye.